Sam Martin. How do you think L. Ron Hubbard's vision of Scientology would differ from the reality of Scientology as it is today? Would it be an improvement on the present regime? Oh boy. Uh, okay, so there's going to be a ton of different ideas about this from every former member of Scientology and how they perceived Scientology and what it meant for them and what their idea of L. Ron Hubbard was and what his intentions and, and, and goals and objectives were. For me, um, now knowing everything I know, I would say that L. Ron Hubbard would be extremely unhappy with what David Miscavige has turned his uh, organizations and churches and religion into, or his philosophy. Uh, he would, I, I don't think he'd be impressed at all. Um, and I think that uh, his view of things would differ in a great many ways. One, the structure of Scientology that was put together to manage Scientology with, with that I laid out in my video about the Watchdog Committee and international management and all that. I think Hubbard wanted something like that to actually work. I don't think, you know, David Miscavige put that whole structure together and he did so and then immediately subverted it and uh, compromised the entire thing and put himself as the sole dictator in charge of Scientology. And he made that work despite this organizational structure that's, that's supposed to prevent that from happening. So, um, so I think Hubbard would, uh, would think that Miscavige had made this, you know, had corrupted his entire plan. And I think he would want something like that. I think he would want a group of guys at the top of international management doing the job that Hubbard did himself as the, as the head of Scientology through the 1950s and 60s and, and 70s. That was why he wanted those people put there in the first place, was to take over the functions he was doing. And, um, and I don't think he would be very impressed with how David Miscavige has, has done all that. Um, the other thing is that the other major point I, I will make on this is that um, the IAS, the International Association of Scientologists, which is Scientology's mainstay of income these days and has been for a couple of decades now, um, that was never something L. Ron Hubbard even, even conceived of or knew anything about. And he, and he wrote policy specifically saying, don't do that. So, um, so I don't think he would be at all wanting all of this, you know, straight, what we call straight donations that just give us your money for no, no return or exchange. Um, just because Scientology is so wonderful and you want to support it. Uh, that, that all would not be in existence if L. Ron Hubbard still had something to say about it. Uh, the, the Church of Scientology would be, uh, while, we, while we know that the auditing and the training is all just basically a bunch of crap, Hubbard would still insist that if money is going to be received by the organization, it's going to be exchanged for something. You're going to get services, you're going to get materials, you're going to get lectures or something in return or training, right? Um, he wouldn't be down for this just give me money stuff. So that would be a massive change in how Scientology operates right now. I have, uh, what I'm most curious about and what I have no way of getting an answer to, of course, is how would L. Ron Hubbard respond to the internet? Now, I imagine he would make up all kinds of stories about how it had been around, you know, systems like that had been around before and you could sort of read that into his policies when he talks about computer systems and stuff, because he talks about computer systems running planets, you know, back in the past, back in the day. And so he would, you know, sort of take credit for conceiving of the internet before Al Gore did. <laughs> um, but he, you know, but I don't know how he would have adapted Scientology's policies to the internet age. I'd be very, very interested to see what Hubbard would do with that, just as an intellectual exercise. I'm not, I'm not saying I, I, I think he would do good things with it. I don't. But I think that he would be very, very interested, much more interested than David Miscavige is, in promoting Scientology over the internet, in getting books sold, and getting people out on the streets, and getting people, you know, coming into the organizations. He would be all about that. And he would be... Um, uh, you know, so, so the way things are done now in Scientology, he would not be down with any of that. The Scientology TV and stuff, I think he'd be like, well, you know, not now. We're not ready for that yet. And why are we wasting all this money on this? Why, don't we, why aren't we doing the mainstay stuff that we know works, right? So 
This is all sort of from the viewpoint of L. Ron Hubbard back in the 1960s when he actually still had his head on fairly, well, he had his head on straighter, let's say, than he did in the, once, he, once the Sea Org came around and once the 70s hit and he started having strokes and mental disabilities and stuff, um, he, he just lost everything, you know, and he just kind of went nuts. But earlier than that, he had very specific ideas and intentions and goals for Scientology, and I think that he would have run Scientology uh, very differently in order to achieve those goals than what uh, the directions Miscavige has taken it. Oh, and of course, L. Ron Hubbard would be able to release more OT levels. <laughs> You know, he would have been able to do more research and, and figure that stuff out. Again, not to say that any of that would have been any good. I'm just saying he would have done those. He would have done that work and he would have put that stuff out. So Scientology wouldn't be this, you know, incomplete piece of work that everybody in Scientology has to sort of pretend is complete. Um, you know, he could have answered more questions, taken more time, figured some more things out, you know, that kind of stuff. So I don't know, you know, uh, that's, that's kind of where some, some thoughts off the top of my head about all that.